Okay guys and gals, this is Men and Meg in the kitchen today and today we're not here to be to cook. We're here just to um, just do a little vlog on how we um, crisis shot. So um, we're still in the COVID-19 situation and um, we ran out of food of course after what three weeks then there's nothing <laughs> in the refrigerator to cook so um we had to go out shopping to see what we could find again um, again just like everybody knows there's hardly anything out there the shelves were bare and um we had to, I got up at what, 5.30 to make it to the supermarket or to the store and um, <clears throat> I was trying to beat the crowd because um, <clears throat> I'm not even feeling too well today so I'm doing some ginger tea, <laughs> yeah, some ginger tea I'm doing here, um, yeah, so um, I got up at 5.30 to beat the crowd because I just didn't want to deal with this crowd and um, I didn't want to deal with this crowd situation and with so many bugs out there and carrying on with this COVID-19 I just didn't want to <clears throat> deal with the crowd I was the third person there waiting online when I got there and before the store could open at 7 30 the whole thing was so full and you know I was so scared and um, I didn't even have a, a good mask <clears throat> but I used my scarf I ordered some mask I didn't get them it's over two weeks now when it's Amazon Prime and I still didn't get them but um, I braved it and I went it was a bit crazy it was so scary but I trusted God and I weathered the storm I, I went so the shelves at 7.30 when the store just opened, I think that things would be on the, store, on the shelves because they would have over, um, they would stock the, the, the shelves overnight. Nothing was still bare and what we got were just the bare essentials. We needed some chopped meat, I didn't get that, I didn't get any bun. So many things I didn't get, any lime, any lemon, none of that. But I'm going to show you guys what we got. <clears throat> And I don't know how long this is going to last for the crisis cooking. I really don't know because so much is happening. But I'm going to show you guys what we got, okay? And how we kind of shop in this crisis. Hopefully it can give you guys some kind of inspiration, some idea what you can do. I don't know. Some kind of ideas what you can probably do. I don't know, but I'll just share. Okay, so let's go. Yeah guys, so first when I got a chance to go into the store I try to you know stand at a distance so um I wouldn't have to run into anybody. So I try to, to maintain that six feet away and um people were kind of advancing on me. I just told them please stay away. I they could hardly understand <laughs> what I'm seeing through the mask through my scarves because I use two scarves around my head you know wrap around my nose and you could barely see my eyes <laughs> so I told them stay away you know I said stay I just stretched out my hands and said stay away six feet apart so you know they got the gist they backed away some of them were argumentative but I didn't even get into that but I ran first of all I ran to the um, the orange juice um, refrigerator because um, I only have that much orange juice left. I had four of them and over the last two weeks to just to get my immune systems up. I drank them so rapidly and all I had, these are the ones with pulp and this is really going bad. So I really had to put this out, throw this out now so I knew I had to get orange juice. So that was the first place I went. I only have that left and it's no good so I run to the um, orange juice shelves 
and I was able to acquire these so I got two of these I was just so happy to get those so I try to get the ones with no pulps calcium I really don't like the pulps but when I bought the one, ones with the pulp, pulps then I had to because there was nothing else available so I was really blessed to get those these two here and um, these are the big ones of course I was so blessed so 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 blessed so these are the two that I got and I ran that's the first thing I got in the trolley the trolley side and um, I was blessed there and um, yeah so um, these are what I was gonna I'm um, planning to use to fight my immune systems and um, the, the, the bread of course I love the 12 I love the grain whatever all wheat grain bread I can get I love that but the mask on I couldn't figure out what I'm getting <laughs> I saw the oatmeal on and I'm like I don't love the oatmeal on at all but um, I think I could um, with the with the two mask um two scarves on my eyes I could already see but I did see 12 grains and I was like I can't see anything else and this doesn't look like grain I can see oatmeal I didn't see any grain but I picked it up still and I you know as I hope this is what I really wanted so I picked up this one threw it in the cart okay <laughs> So when I got home and took off the scarves, I was able to to look and um, I was so glad when I looked and found out it is the 12 grain. Once I opened it, all the grains were inside the bread itself and not on the outside. So that was a good thing. Thank God. Yeah. So the next place I ran was to the refrigerator and then that part was crowded. Um, I was trying to get eggs. But that part was so crowded and so I stood aside a little bit until it was sort of cleared away and then I ran to get the eggs, everything was gone. So whereas I usually get the 24 um, free range eggs, I couldn't get that this time. All I really got was half a dozen of <laughs> poultry farm, half a dozen farm fresh grade A large eggs that's all I I was able to get this is just half a dozen I didn't even look in there I just grabbed something and run I never really like the white eggs first I'm seeing it's white I usually buy the brown eggs um, cage free and so um, I couldn't get that I, this this is all that was left so I was really glad to get that so I picked that up and that with, I only have what five left in here and then only six left in here so I don't even have a dozen but it will work I always love the probiotic um, yogurt but none was there so these were only two that I have in the refrigerator and hopefully that will be able to keep me until the crisis is over I'm not so sure but I'm gonna need it for cooking and I, I intended to do some dishes with these but now I don't know if I, I have enough to share and so those are the other two that we have left in the in the house so we don't even know how that's gonna go down with the cooking and everything and um, that is gonna be another scary one but these are under the under two we have left in the house and we don't know how that one is going to be. Okay guys, so now I have to put on my gloves because I'm going to go deep into the bag. What I intended to do is to use the wet ones, antibacterial, to wipe these fruits first and then I'm going to wash them, okay? I'm not so sure if that's good but I'm just going to use that to sort of wipe them and I'm going to wash them. We were able to get some, I was able to get some egg, some eggplant. And these are not even good they're all bruised up and everything you can see so i'll have to go ahead and use it really really quickly because this is all i was able to get they don't have much there and the few that they have they're all broken up that way so now i 
I just have to take it and use it really, really early. Okay. Um, since I couldn't find any of the juice, these juices are what we have left that we're able to grab. And so we're gonna use them to make all sorts of different kind of juices. We're gonna we intended to blend those on up with natural juice um, things to make a drink. So hopefully can we can do that. So yeah. So the next ones are cucumbers. We can find fresh ones. The ones that we got were all, all beaten up and they're not even so fresh or anything, but we were able to get four. And so we decided to use those. Hopefully, we can get some kind of nutrients out of these before they really get bad. And we'll be able to use them up in our cooking dishes before they really get um, bad. So here are those, yeah. Those are just the cucumbers and we need those for salads and um, all the dishes you know so let's see where we go with that one we were able to get a few grapes these are not the re these are not really the ones that I really need these are definitely not the ones I usually purchase I love the crunchy ones I don't like my grapes soft and so these were the other ones available so I grabbed them because of course I'm gonna need them in, to use in some kind of dish or veg, um, veggie salad or something. I usually like to use um, a combination of fruits and vegetables in my some of my salads and um, just to make something, you know. So I intended to show you guys how you can use um, these grapes to, to use grapes to make a very nice dish. Or, or a treat for your children now that they're at home and um, of course you know my passion for the pets and everything but pets will not be able to eat this maybe rabbit but not doggies it cannot give dogs that are great and so um, yeah I, I, I picked these up because I know that I'll be able to do something creative and um, you guys will be able to Glean something from my utilizing these to make a, a, a salad or, or, or a combination of um, vegetables and, and um, fruits to make something. So, yeah, I was able to grab those. So, yeah. Another set of things that we really, really need it's a staple in our everyday cooking are tomatoes. We were not able to get the smaller ones of course, which we generally use. You've seen us use those from time to time, but we were just not able to acquire those. And so we ended up buying the, just those four big ones because those were the only ones available. These little ones are the ones that we usually love to buy, but we just couldn't find them. We just could not find them. So we ended up purchasing those. So we don't even know how that's gonna go down but we just have to use what we got so um you can see the the the, the, the kind of stress this covid 19 situation crisis has put on our um daily cooking so we don't we're not so sure what's going down there how we're going to handle the situation because from time to time most of our dishes do require tomatoes and if we can't get them to cook then we are not so sure how that's gonna go but as we progress we will let you guys know as we start cooking again okay and then we were able to purchase purchase some aspar asparagus and then I'm just realizing they're so bad look at that I know they were so bad I'm just realizing that they are rotten so maybe though these <laughs> we can't even use these no more because these are really bad. Look at that. I didn't know that while I was, I didn't see that when I was purchasing because it has been so stressful going out there. I think I'll be able to even go bother to go back out there to even try shopping because it's so stressful and um, you know, you're trying, 
to buy the, do the right thing to get the best things and then you're trying to get away from those people who are not even understanding to stay away six feet away and you know just just like they get argumented they're so stupid I don't know <sighs> it's so stressful nobody's understanding you're like give me a chance let me just pick up from here and leave and it's just like they're not understanding they're advancing on you and you have to be telling them stay away so you know in the process you just pick up stupid things like this this is a mess this is this is so bad look at that look at that this is so bad so this was a fail this was definitely a fail likewise likewise the eggplant because it's all bruised up so those were definitely fails definitely fails <laughs> so red peppers that's very important in our cooking um, and even these have bruises this one has a bad bruise here but at least it's not as bad as the asparagus this one looks like it's intact I was only able to get two so that was a good thing even though this one is bruised so I'll have to use it before it gets worse so we are, we're only able to acquire two and um, due to the limited amount everybody's grabbing so you just get two and that's all we got for that one so cooking is really I don't know where we are with cooking so let, let's go <laughs> let's see what else we got you may recall how, how we use garlic extensively as the base of all of our meat and um, vegetable dishes. Very important as the base. We were only able to get two um, to whatever you call them, cloves, I think. I don't think that's a clove. Bunch or whatever it's called. We were only able to get two. We usually buy the long bag, which is like from there to there, was not available. So, and they're very expensive. So, wherever the box stops, this that's where <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. We have to stop because um, we can't get the food to cook. So, that's where we we are with the garlic under two. And I don't know how many pieces, how many cloves are in. Each we'll have to let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It appears ten cloves in here. So I don't know what we're gonna do for our dishes, but we'll see. And what is so good is that these are intact. These are definitely intact, they're not bad, so that's a win. Yeah, very grateful for that one. Good old broccoli. <laughs> All week we have been trying to do a dish with broccoli and the one that we had went bad so we threw that out and then we were so glad to see broccoli and I grabbed that so quickly um, some of them are beaten up like this one is all beaten up here and it's bruised there but it's all in all the other two pieces are not really looking bad at all these are this is just this one piece is beaten up beaten up there beaten up down here so we'll have to use this one those this piece first all week we have been trying to make up a broccoli dish and just could not do it because we just couldn't find broccoli and so we were able to acquire that which is a win-win so with two pieces intact and one piece bad it's a win okay so that's not a total fail so grateful and mr. and mrs. avocado <laughs> I was trying to get some that you know will take a longer time to ripe so I was trying to find a very very hard one hard one and a, one that is almost ready to eat this one is ready to eat but this one now I'm feeling it it's soft but there's not there were not a whole bunch that you could really like you know pick and choose and you have to be hurrying you have to be hurrying so nobody like run into you and you know get you sick you just have to pick up whatever you could find and dash out of there but we have a couple of avocado dishes coming up and so we were so grateful 
that we were able to find these two. I don't know how I'm going to preserve one. Um, there must be a way to, I'm going to research how I can preserve one, put it somewhere so it doesn't get bad, and then we can use one that is really ready. But we have a couple of dishes, about two or three dishes coming up that we intend to use avocado. And um, we were so grateful. Looking at it now, let me see. There is no bruised on these. These are intact. So these are definitely win. These are win, total win. They are looking so clean, so beautiful. And they, other than they're, both of them getting ripe at the same time. Good, 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 good. Avocado. So tell me about the frizz waters. <laughs> Even though I have my soda fountain, I just so love the fruit, fruity um, frizz water, the blackberry, because I don't know how to produce that that on my um, water soda fountain. I don't know how to do that yet, but I'm gonna design a way. I'm gonna figure it out how I can get the fruity kind of. I love blackberry or black cherry or something black, anything black. I sort of love that in the frizz water. And so I was able to get the black cherry. Those are avail were available. So um, all that were on the shelf, majority of them I was able to grab. I was able to grab three of those black cherries that were there. And I was so, I'm so glad because um, those are the ones that I really love to drink. And now that my stomach not feeling too good, um, um, I was really glad to grab those and then when there was no more left I was able to get the Canada dry and this is um, another frizz water this one is pomegranate 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 cherry I was able to get the pomegranate cherry and um, sparkling salsa water so even though it's not black cherry but hopefully it's good i've never had this before but <clears throat> so glad i was able to get that and then i was able to get this kind of dry ginger ale since my stomach not feeling too good for and i got the dark one so i start drinking this one already but these i'm just so glad to, that i was able to get and if company comes over i'll be able to if they don't want like the plain soda fountain water then i'll be able to offer them something from this collection so i was really glad to get those really glad mini peppers yeah so since we did we're not able to get all of the peppers that we need we only got two of these of course we didn't get the green we didn't get the um orange ones like this the bigger ones like that all we had to do was to actually grab the mini peppers and hopefully that will be this will be able to suffice until better days so we got quite a few in here and uh this should be able it's one pound this should be able to keep us until better days and so Maybe we could find a way to utilize uh, these in our dishes instead of the tomatoes that we did not get and the green peppers that we did not get. So I really wanted was to do a green pepper dish, um, salad, um, but I didn't. I wasn't able to get that. It was there, but just wanted to, to avoid the crowd. I just couldn't deal with it, so I just wanted to get out of that place. So I grabbed grabbed what I could and uh, what I could not afford to get mingled to, to get I just forget it forget it I just want to get out of there because the people just not understanding to, to, to stay away you can't get close up to each other and uh, they're just like really really crazy and doing stupid things so um, I just had to get out of there so even though the green peppers were there I was not able to get those so here we are with just the these and I'm hoping we'll be able to do some dishes with just the mini peppers and we and they have the red ones and they and these are really really sweet so I really 
I was really happy I'll be able to utilize those with these big ones for what we really want them to do. So yeah, that's a win. And these are intact. They're not bruised. They're not um, nothing like that. So um, that's a win-win with that one there. Win for that one. Win, win. We wanted to do a couple of sardine dishes and we were whereas we usually get five sardines like for five dollars we were we were not able to find those so we were able to get these um, and these are sardines in vegetable oil and um, these are very expensive it's, I think it's 250 per one so we were able to get three of them because we have a couple of sardine dishes coming up so we were only able to get three of those which we are grateful for so we did not get five and these are more expensive but we are grateful that we are able to get those because we really want to show you guys how you can utilize sardine incorporate that in your daily cooking for your family and of course kitties and doggies will be able to benefit from this also so we were, were glad to get three of them and that's a win okay even though they're so expensive so it's sort of win-lose <laughs> Win fail. <laughs> Even though we are so big on on um, organic honey, um, we still from time to time do need sugar for lemonade. And you guys will see how we have on the same channel here how we have used sugar to formulate lemonade and lime aid, which um, the summer is coming up, and we're definitely going to need some of that. And since we're not able to get orange juice as we usually do. We're going to use the sugar and the um, grapefruit juices to make up something and we want to share that with you guys. Those are our things coming up. So we were not able to get the usual sugar but we were able to get this one which is very expensive. It is what? Um, Two pounds and it's $3.19 and this one is grown harvest in the USA. It says raw cane sugar so it's cane sugar that can't go we can't go wrong there um raw cane sugar usa grown and um, two pounds so we were able to and this one has recipes here crispy lemon cookies so we might make cookies too who knows and we'll be able to make our usually favorite juices and and aids lemonades and lime aids and all sorts of aids there so we were really really grateful for that very expensive but more than the usual what we would do on the norm normal circumstances we will have variation of sugars to pick from pick and choose from but this time we were not able to do that because it's not there it's not there guys so we just picked up what we were were able to find and this one is three dollars nineteen cents so yeah that's a win and macaroni, yeah, we've been, we wanted to make some pasta dishes and then I needed tomato and I didn't have the tomato and the kind of pasta that I wanted to make that dish, it, we just couldn't find it. What we have is not what we were looking for and so we had to terminate, earlier this week we had to terminate all of that idea of just pop it because we couldn't find any macaroni um, product. Those that we had were just like noodles and um, we did not need noodles, we needed real macaroni product. And the ones that we really want we did not find, like the bow tie one, we didn't find that one at all, but we were able to grab this one. So maybe we can use this instead, but still grateful that we are able to get this one. And this is just 99 cents for this one, so we'll see how this one goes. We are, were only able to get one pack. We didn't have a variation of different ones, so that's a kind of fail. So yeah. And now um, our coffee maker start misbehaving. Our ninja co um, coffee maker start misbehaving. That means it needs cleaning. The lights were back on again, and I use that that daily. So maybe it's from utilizing that so often that you know it needs clean ever so often and so I've always wanted from last month I really really wanted to pick up um, a 
the vinegar, Heinz vinegar to clean this and just never got a chance to. Um, it was just too heavy. I had too much to do to carry and then I didn't worry to pick it up and then I was able just avoiding the crowd, trying to avoid the crowd. I just grabbed this. I don't know the price. I don't know anything. I know they can, they have the cheaper ones and I saw this lady running to get two for like, I, she would, I would want to say at five dollars, but I couldn't go over there because I just wanted to get out of that place. And so I was able to just grab one. I think one is just for four dollars. I could have gotten five, two for five dollars, but one for four dollars, and I could have done better. So this is a fail. But I just wanted to get out of there because the people they were just too crazy, not understanding a word as to what is happening, and I just couldn't get them to like back off a little bit. So yeah, that's all. This is definitely a fail because I could have gotten a better price you know, on that one. Okay, so, but I, I'm still grateful that I'm, I was able to get it because now I can clean that Ninja coffee maker and there comes a time when, it's, when you, it, it needs cleaning and you don't clean it, then it just shut down. It doesn't make coffee, it doesn't make anything at all. So, here we go. Fail, but a kind of win. Yeah? So, guys, no old milk. No old milk. Oh my goodness, I ran to that counter, no old milk at all. I'm not a favorite of coronation milk or anything like that. It just doesn't do well at my stomach and look at that, if I low fat 2%, oh my gosh. Fail, fail, fail. And this is 2.39. Fail, fail, fail. I didn't even see that because the stupid mark, mask on my scarf and my face, I couldn't even see. So that's a total fail. Total fail for two thirty nine and the wrong milk and everything. I needed that to make cereals and all of that, but I was able to get some sweetened condensed milk, so that's a win. But fail on the coronation fail. I really needed some skinny macaroni to um, spaghetti to to make a dish that I really really want to make, and I just didn't have any in the house. I have not purchased this in a while. The really, really skinny one, and I was able to get that one. Look at that. I was able to get angel, angel hair. So that's a total win for me here. Yeah. Whereas I'm so disappointed in the carnation milk and no oil milk. Really happy that I was able to get this macaroni product, which is the angel hair. Angel hair, really happy. For that so now I'll be able to make that dish so that's a win-win for me okay that's a win-win for me this one is a win-win so this dish is coming up guys you can bet on that one so happy win-win and oh boy we needed cheese for our pasta dishes and we just couldn't get the usual cheese that we use so we were only able to pick up this farm creamy, which I don't even know. But the variation of cheese were not there. And so we had to just grab what we could find. I love sh sharp, um, sharp, really sharp cheese. And so um, this is a kind of win for me because um, um, I really, really need to make some pasta dishes that I need to use cheese in. So this is a good win for me. I can utilize this. I can grate it until I'm able to find the the real one, the ones that we usually do. So grateful, grateful. This is a kind of win for us. So um, this one expired. I didn't even look at the expiration date. Let me see. Hopefully. Um, this one expires when August 24th. Oh yeah, this is a win. So we can definitely use this one um, until we can find the good one. So we, this will be able, we'll be able to pull through a dish from using this one. So that's a win for us. That is definitely a win. Okay. And we needed some <clears throat> pickled um, fish. And this is pollock. 
wild pot fillets so glad I was able to get this one because I have a great dish in mind to do to you you know use using this and I'm so grateful this one is wild caught which is really really good happy about that wild caught where is that now <laughs> here we go wild caught okay so really grateful we were able to get this one never used it before but it will do for the dish that we want to do and this one is salted palocked filet and um, Luena Ventura Wild Court. So glad I was able to get this. This is a win-win, okay? And this one, we can, we can last until 2021. So grateful. This is a win-win. Time. <laughs> we have been struggling with our time in garden, indoor gardens. From the winter, we have been trying to grow this garden and we have been struggling and struggling and then we put them in the water and then they died and it's just been a big struggle. So whereas our green spring onion <clears throat> are trying to grow the, the thyme just won't do anything at all. So we had to really go out and I'm trying to figure out a way how I'm going to use the blow dryer method again to see if I can get these to retain their green color because there's some dishes that I love to use um, vibrant green um, thyme in and um, times really time really goes bad dark and dried up and um, I, I, and I, I don't like it that way I like fresh beautiful herbs vibrant color herbs on my dishes and so um, we bought these with the intention of trying again to see if we can get some to grow and seeing gonna see if we will be able to blow dry them also to, to get them to retain their green vibrant color and if we're able to do that then we can put those in the wax paper and freeze them and so they'll stay there green and beautiful that whenever we're ready to do our dishes and we just whip them out and just go ahead so yeah that's the time here and um they look vibrant they look fresh they look nice and clean and well packaged so this is a win-win not a fail at all so grateful so grateful at least some things I'm happy about and this is one of them so that's a good one here guys really good one we were pushing for Pillsbury um, self-rised or self-rising flower we were not but I love Eckers too um, I also love the um, old wheat but those are luxury we were not able to get those at all but we're so grateful that we were able to do the eckers because we need to make some dumplings in um sauce soya sauce soy sauce and um our flour is out we were not able to do that that was the past week we were really pushing for that and we were not able to do that because we had no flour in the house so we were able to just get this two pounds and we're so grateful it's not it's all purpose flour but it's unbleached forever and it's not self-rising so we'll have to find a way because the dumplings that we need dumplings that we need to make we want them to be sort of not flat but you know but we're gonna use what we can we yeah so this is a win for us even though it's not self-rising or self-rised <laughs> whatever it's called we're still eternally grateful because at least we can still use some baking powder and get it get the, the um, to serve the purpose of what we really intended to do with this so yeah and the pricing is not bad it's the same pricing before um, that they before the, the, the this crisis craziness it's 199 
So that's not bad at all. So to be able to utilize this and we're eternally grateful for this because I really did to make that dumpling <laughs> that dumpling um dish. So yeah, that's a win for us there. And salad guys, oh my goodness, this is such a fair. We need to get this big container out. Let me see if I can show you guys a big container of salad. And um, for maybe $2, we paid this little tiny. Look how tiny this is. We paid $3 for this little one. Look how small it is. And the vegetables are not even looking lively. They look puny, dried up, sick looking looking ready these are total fail i'm going to show you guys the big ones we usually get for two dollars this is how big our containers used to be for two dollars this is how big look how big this is compared to here from here to there and just because these are these have gone bad and that's why we had to go out and buy these we never use them up as quickly as we should but just want to show you guys from here to here comparing to just there look at that look at that this is a t total fail this was two dollars this is three dollars and the vegetables are not even looking so vibrant and happy so that's a total fail all of this all of that so that's a total fail total fail I don't think I'm really going to go back out and purchase anything until this crisis is over because it's crazy. I can't. It doesn't make sense. So, um, yeah, total fail. Total fail, guys. Total fail. Total fail. Total fail. <laughs> total fail. Bak choy. So, yeah. <coughs> Sorry. Bak choy. I'm not so sure how much we paid for these bak choy. I have to check the price. But they're looking fresh. They're looking nice. I like them. Other than we have one yellow leaf here, which is breaking apart. Everything else looks good. Looks fresh. Looks nice. And here is bruised. But um, we can work with that. We can live with that. And you know how from time to time every one of our meals we try to balance them especially <coughs> sorry guys especially in this crisis cooking we try to balance our meals as we cook for the pets indoor pets we cook for the elderly we cook for the children which are our greatest greatest passion and everybody else who falls in between all of the, those three different categories so um, we are totally grateful that we're able to that's why we had to go out and purchase even the vegeta vegetables that could have been, we could have gotten better pricing on we extended ourselves just to purchase those because we want to give you guys balanced meals and that's our only reason for going the extra mile we didn't have to do this but we really really want to do this especially for the categories mentioned above and um, we really want to really want to continue this cooking during this crisis we, we may not be able to do three meals per day but if we're able to roll out one or two we're eternally grateful so this is a win-win I don't know for the pricing I'll have to check the price but this looks good, really looks good. Other than the bruise here and the yellow leaves there, yellow leaf, one leaf, everything else is fine. And I'm really grateful, this is really a win. Happy with that one, happy with that purchase, really happy. Oranges, yeah. <laughs> that is something that I really wanted was to go out there and purchase because they said for this COVID-19 where people are, to, are, are encouraged to eat a lot of oranges, citrus on a, on a whole, on a whole. So anything like um, oranges, lemon, lime, fruits, just, just eat. 
and I went out there so optimistic that I would be able to find some good oranges on the tour I was able to purchase because they didn't have a lot they're not all that very good this one is badly bruised on the side here which I didn't see other than that it's good looking good this one is sort of beaten up they're very expensive I was only able to get two I think I got two for five dollars that's a lot of money that's a lot of money so I was only able to get two that is a fair that's definitely a fair and I was told that you could boil this, this the orange and drink it and that will clear your lungs you can put your face over the fumes as you boil the orange skin and I was really looking forward to doing that because they said that would clear the lungs and all sorts of things even though my lungs are good but I just want to do practice that daily until this craziness is over. I was not able to get all the oranges that I need. So this is a total fail. Two oranges for five dollars. That's a lot of money. That's a fail. That's a total, total fail. And they are bruised up and all of that. Not happy. Not happy. Not happy. This one has a bad bruise. Look at that. Bad bruise. And then this one looks beaten up just because I had the <laughs> scarf in my face. I just couldn't see and I just want to get out of there. So I'm just like panicky, panic shopping. That's the name, panic shopping. <laughs> yeah, guys, so that's a fail. That's a fail. And carrots, yeah. Precious carrots. I Last week I needed to do a steak dish with carrots roasted carrots and i just couldn't do it at all i needed at least four to five carrots baby carrots and i couldn't do it because i didn't have any carrots at all the carrots here are looking good the carrots are looking good even though the leaves are withered and bruised and i usually utilize the the, the um leaves so yeah that's not too bad though, not too bad. So even though the, the, the leaves are bruised, but the carrots are in good shape, and most of the leaves are intact, looking fresh, looking good, so now I'll be able to do that. Let's take dinner using these carrots. So this is definitely a win. I'm not so sure what price it is, but those few items that I showed it, it's $160 that's a lot of money for those few items everything is the prices are just blown out of the water and that's crazy so this crisis shopping was not a good one half and half fail half fail half good because at least I can continue to cook but the carrots here are a win-win eternally grateful this is a win this is a win yeah oil not all the time I utilize I use um, I use olive oil a lot and I use sesame oil a lot in my cooking love to do that men develop these inspirational um, recipes that I got you know the concept from her and everything but the execu actual execution is me um, I took up a small uh, a bottle a, little, a tad bit bigger than this, $12, I had to put it back because it, um, not all the times I do use um, olive oil, not all the time I use um, sesame oil, sometimes I do need vegetable oils to fry or so because olive oil is not too good to fry for frying and I don't need the sesame oil to fry. So if I'm frying a, a bit of fish or something like that, Sometimes or chicken, um, which a chicken dish is coming up today. Um, I don't want to use um, olive oil, and I don't want to use the sesame oil. So the vegetable oil is what I would use. Twelve dollars. I had to put it back. And even this little one. This one is so. This is what. Um, Forty-eight fluid ounce, and this one is six dollars. In time pass before this crisis, I usually get this. For I would want to say three dollars. Now it is six dollars. The price is double. That's a fail. That is a fail. 
that's definitely a fail. A fail, 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 fail. So, yeah, fail, guys. Fail, fail, fail with this oil. And it is that, that much. That much. That much. Fail. Cakes and cookies. Oh, boy, those shops were totally... I think it's due mainly to the fact that the children are off or out of school, they're at home. So the parents just like grab every kind of cakes and cookies. That area was crowded. I couldn't get cookies and cakes. I only got a couple. This is one and this one is two. It's all beaten up. Look at that. It's so beaten up, I don't know. The back doesn't look too bad, but the front is so beaten up. Cupboards, bakery, cinnamon, bun. These were not, we didn't have a lot, and these were some national spice bun. Were not a lot of those at all. And these, this will only last until May 2020. So that's a fail because um, this one is so beaten up. I don't know if we can eat that still. I didn't even see that. It was so beat, badly beaten up. This one is nice. This one is intact. Looks look presentable. I was gonna get some donuts, but then I didn't feel like going over there with people everywhere, and to be in there, people getting breakfast and crowding and all of that. I couldn't deal with that, and people not maintaining or observing that six feet or more. I couldn't deal with that. So cookies and cakes fail, 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 fail. I want to make some salmon gunde with some pickled. Karen and I've wanted some water crackers well that's available so I was able to get this so that's a win 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 this is a Jamaican flavored water cracker so that's what you're gonna go with that pickled herring dish salmon bunday so we're gonna that's a win this is a win-win so it's a win right there guys but that's the end of it all and um, actually, no, um, I really needed to get some herbs and green onions and all that, dill and kale and all of that. I was not able to get that, but I was able to get a whole bunch of spring onion and the pricing was really, really good, really, really, really good. So I came home and keep them fresh and beautiful. I oops, put them in a the bag of water. Oops, and now I created a mess. <coughs> I put them in a bag of water so to keep them fresh until I get a chance to get around to washing them. I'm gonna plant some of them so they can grow. So that's why I try to get the ones with their roots on. So we have five of them. Is it five? Four of them here. Five of them, yeah, five of them. And the pricing was just so good, really good pricing. So we were able to get the kale and the green spring onions, which we're so grateful for. And I just put them in the bag here yeah, with some water to keep them fresh and clean. And I'm gonna wash them and put them away, plant some. So these we were able to get in abundance and they're beautiful, they're fresh, they're clean, they're lovely. Well, some of these are beaten up, could be better. I didn't see this, but not bad, not bad. Everything's not gonna be perfect. Three leaves over here are bad, and these we can just like take off, but not bad at all, not bad, not bad at all. Eternally grateful for these, and this one. Well, uh, nonetheless, we still have to take off this to sort of make the dish that I intended and gravies and all of that. So eternally grateful for these. Once I wash and trim them up, I should be able to utilize and get some good dishes out of those. So eternally grateful, eternally grateful guys for these. These are nice, really nice. And yeah, look at that, really beautiful, really beautiful. So that's a win, that's a win. I'm gonna plant some of those with the roots. I try to get those because I wanna plant those. Even those that the winter ones are struggling right now because 
I think they need some kind of mulch, which I can't go out to purchase. So they're not happy. They're not really not happy right now. They're meager, but um, I'm gonna figure out a way how to take care of them. Figure out the way. So yeah, guys, that is our crisis shopping. So we are ready to start cooking. Again, I have not been rolling out dishes. You can tell it's been sparse and few and in between because um, I didn't have the ingredients to make up these dishes and so I just put the cooking on hold and now we're ready to start cooking again. I'm not so sure how long this is going to take, how long we'll be able to utilize and cook. I didn't buy no protein at all because the protein, nothing was in there. Um, they have a few pieces of steak and um, did I see chicken? Maybe two boxes of, two um, containers of chicken, which I have chicken so I didn't take up. Steaks I have, I didn't take those up. I was looking for chopped meat, I didn't get any, none was there. So I just scrapped that idea. No protein was purchased, I paid almost $200, $160, total fail total fail because I could have gotten better pricing under different circumstances but I am grateful for the things that I have because at least at least I'll be able to share with you guys daily cooking ideas and you can incorporate that into what you have in the house I'll try to make sure that I'll use simple things to make up these dishes and things that people might still be able to find in the house because the counters are still sparse, still scanty, and people are just so crazy. At 7.30, we have like about 20 people were waiting to get in. And by 15 minutes after that, the whole place was just so crowded and people start to panic because they don't want to get sick out. So. Yeah, that is it guys, that is it. I couldn't roll a camera or anything because it's so combustible and frightening that I just wanted to get out of there. So, um, I was not able to do any kind of filming. All right, guys, so yeah, that's it. That's it, we just want to thank you guys for stopping by. We're totally eternally grateful for your support. And um, thanks for the few subscribers that we're getting. Eternally grateful and the few comments. And I know things will pick up as soon as people's minds are set at ease. But right now, people are too agitated to even look at videos or anything. <laughs> Be better days are coming. Yeah, so we're going to start cooking now. We have a chicken dish coming up right as we speak. And um, I invite you guys to roll back here in the next 10 minutes when we start cooking. Because now we are ready. That just love those veggies those green spring onions they're so beautiful yeah guys so we're ready to roll again with our cooking yeah we're ready we are ready again and we'll see how far this one take us if it will take us through the crisis or not if it finishes before the crisis then we don't do anything until the crisis is over you won't see us again until after the crisis because it's too crazy I can't go back out there it's too nerve-rocking it really rocks your nerves and the nervousness the anxiety the people not obeying protocols to stay away they're just crazy and they're just running and I think it's out of fright and panic and fear they're not even aware of what they're doing so yeah there we go guys, so until we start cooking again at in another 10 minutes, all the best, thank you for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed this um, little vlog, vlog, hope you enjoyed this little vlog and you do get some ideas from this, okay, I'm going to wash my hands, I'm going to pack, wash these and pack them away, we're going to wash with vinegar, wipe them down with those um, sanitized wipes and then wash them with vinegar and salt and put them away so that's what we're going to do so until we see you back in 10 minutes all the best bye bye see you soon